Central Tropical Cyclone 3. It has been upgraded to 45 mile per hour winds, which means if it were to form, which is very likely still at this point, that it will be upgraded, that it will be a tropical storm and will be named Claudette if it does develop prior to making landfall. Just based on the satellite imagery that I'm about to show you, I do think that it is close to forming. As you can see right here, there is that closed load trying to form, but there is still a chance that it does not form, although it is still looking very likely for that at the moment. Current winds of 45 miles per hour with a pressure of 1,006 millibars with movement of north at 14 miles per hour or 12 knots. This is a huge increase since last time, as last time I did an update, it was only at 30 miles per hour and did not look very organized at all. It still does not look very organized, but you can see that closed low trying to develop in there. Looking at our tropical storm, looking at our warnings and watches, we currently only have tropical storm warnings for from the middle portions of Louisiana out all the way to now extending into that Pensacola Destin area of the Florida Panhandle now has, is under a tropical storm warning for the system. Let's look at the sea surface temperatures and as you can see that this storm has just moved back into the fa highly favorable sea surface temperatures and is going to stay in that of course until it hits land. It is actually quite north of where this is shown right now as I made this graph a couple hours ago but it has it is quite a bit closer to land now and already Grand Isle areas are receiving impacts from those tropical storm force winds which actually extend out quite a distance let's look at the wind shear and the wind shear it is moving back into the unfavorable wind shear the wind shear kind got a lot better and extended upwards in that area that was supposed to be favorable wind shear but it is moving back out of that now and will stay in likely unfavorable wind shear for the rest of its lifetime. Looking at those rainfall potentials, not too much has changed from those, just moving farther northward with it. You can see that that inner area has slightly condensed more, but also the rainfall totals are slightly higher, so we could, instead of seeing up to 12 inches, potential of 13 to 15 inches maybe even from the system. Not quite to that purple rainfall totals, but getting pretty close to it. Looking at my expected storm track and intensity, I think that this storm will actually possibly get up to 50 miles per hour, although there is a good chance that it will stay at 45 miles per hour. And I think that it will actually hold its intensity for quite some time over land, but before quickly falling apart after that and likely turning post-tropical or into a remnant low near North Carolina. Let's look at those surge likelihoods. And as you can see, it is likely that we will get 1 to 5 feet of storm surge, although more likely 3 to 4 feet from the system, with a moderate chance of up to 7 feet of storm surge, although that is quite unlikely at this point, and just basically impossible for anything higher than seven at this current moment in time. Look at those rainfall totals. I'm giving it a likelihood up to 12 inches of rain up into that category while it is in a quite likely for the 15 at the moment and anything above that is currently quite unlikely to very unlikely at this moment in time. Looking at the winds that the storm could produce, and I'm putting a likely on the 45 all the way up even to the 60, although if it does get into that next category, it would likely be the 50, 50 miles per hour instead of 60, so not the upper end of the category, but still making it into there, and it is quite unlikely that it will get higher than 60, although you never know, it could get to 65 maybe even but I do not see it getting any higher than 50 at this current moment in time. Looking at that PDI stage, we have a 2 in the wind, which is expecting 50 miles per hour, a 3 in the surge, which is expecting 4 feet, and a 6 in the rainfall, expecting anywhere from 13 to 15 inches. Let's look at those zones for the PDI stage, and as you can see, that little yellow area 
covering a small portion of the Florida coast, Alabama, and the Mississippi coast, and the Grand Isle areas there are currently under that yellow phase, while there is a larger area of green surrounding that, and a blue area that extends all the way up even into North Carolina, mostly from rain and winds from, for that area, though no storm surge really to speak of in many of those areas in the blue. Especially the inland ones, they will likely not receive any storm. They will not receive any storm surge, although some of the areas just next to the greens and yellows in the blues could receive some storm surge. Thank you guys for watching update two on potential tropical cyclone three. If you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe, and turn on notifications to keep up to date with this 2021 Atlantic hurricane season. Thank you guys for watching and signing off.